the Ares, a unique aircraft designed to combine the capabilities of a large cannon and a lightweight airframe. Engine inlet gun gas ingestion problems were solved by mounting the engine inlet and the gun on opposite sides of the fuselage. In order to accommodate the inlet in this unusual position on the aircraft, the engine is mounted nose left so that the airflow coming around the fuselage goes straight into the engine inlet. The canard and the wing act as large turning vanes so that the flow remains distortion free at all angles of attack and at all side slip angles. The thrust from the canned off center line engine is brought onto the center line and straightened straight aft by a long all composite tailpipe. The composite tailpipe also allows the fan flow and the core flow to mix to reduce the infrared signature. Ares primary flight controls, consisting of the aileron, the rudder, and the elevator, are all manually actuated without complex boost systems. They are redundant in that the loss of a surface or the control to a surface, either an elevator, an aileron, or a rudder, does not disable the aircraft. Agility requires an effective method for deceleration. Ares uses a simple hydraulic speed brake. Ares has an integrated high lift system and pitch control system. The forward swept canard, which provides the airplane's agility and maneuvering, is mounted behind the pilot so it's not in his vision path for downward and forward vision. The elevator on the canard is a full span slotted flap, which allows aggressive maneuvering, very high lift, and it provides stall limiting in that the canard stalls at the root, progressing outboard, and it limits the airplane to about 15 degrees angle of attack at full aft stick. At full aft stick, the pilot can aggressively maneuver the airplane laterally without fear of departure. The Ares fuel capacity is 2,400 pounds, more than one-third the aircraft's gross weight. The fuel is carried in a conformal external fuel tank that looks like a wing, which is a large carry-through wing at the aircraft's CG. In this wing, J 
jet fuel pumps, pick up fuel, and pump it continuously to an armored, all-attitude header tank located near the engine in the fuselage. The pilot has no fuel management duties. Using the conformal external fuel concept allows the entire center fuselage of Ares to be open for other things. There is no fuel tanks in the center fuselage. This area, which goes from essentially the ejection seat back to the firewall, and from the top of the wing clear to the top skin, has no fuel and no systems for Ares. So it's open for armament or other payloads. And the center of the payload bay is right at the aircraft CG. Adapting a powerful gun to an aircraft generally gives problems. For Ares, the design concept was adapting the aircraft to the gun. For example, the entire forward fuselage of Ares is placed three inches to the left of center to bring the gun closer to the center line. In addition, the fuselage is concave in order to bring the gun in closer and also to focus the blast pressure of the gun to move the nose to the left. This offsets the recoil loads which tend to move the nose to the right. When the gun fires, gun gases come out of the gun which can go into the inlet. Well, Ares has no inlet on this side, so the gun gases are completely excluded from the engine inlet. All the inlet is over on the left side of the aircraft. The configuration of the inlet also allows the fuselage to exclude the inlet from bird ingestion and ice ingestion. For many of its missions, the Ares needs a gun. This is the primary weapon the Ares was designed for. It's the General Electric GAL-12U Gatling gun. Its five barrels can shoot as many as 4,200 rounds per minute. Ares can also accommodate air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missiles or rockets on four hard points, one each side of the landing gear pods. Cowling can be removed without any special equipment. The Ares is powered by a Pratt & Whitney JT-15D-5 turbofan engine. This is a proven power plant that's used on business jets. It's also just now entering U.S. Air Force inventory on the Jayhawk T-1A training aircraft. 